Good morning again. Hope you enjoyed all the last episodes. Today is 20 days out from the Mr. Olympia and we're gonna do chess today with coach Neil Hill at the Dragon's Lair. Uh, but before we're gonna get our meal prep. We're here at the Tasty Meal Prep company and let's go inside and check out what they what they made for us. Hi, how are you? Hey. Hi, welcome in. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Fresh, nice cook. It's basically most tilapia, right? <laughs> Mostly tilapia, yes. The ground beef. Yeah, so this time we did ground beef and I just sauteed it with um, onions and celery. Wow, that's perfect. It's easier to digest when it's... Brown? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Look at that. They have chicken sausages. So okay. I didn't get the chicken, but I didn't I didn't give you that of course. I wasn't sure if you did or didn't eat chicken sausage. Okay, tasty? Uh yeah, I think maybe actually something else to try. I'm gonna try it after my competition. It would help me. Huh? It would help me. The measuring cup? Yeah, can I take it? Yeah, you can take it. Special supplements. Straight out the tasty meal prep cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like a four. Okay. Keep my Thank uniform. You. Nice. Keep your hair nice and tight. <laughs> Alrighty. Let me let you guys out. Thank you so much. Guys, that's just awesome. Look at it. Now we have 18 meals prepped for the next three days in total. And we're gonna head over to this place again on Thursday to shoot some reels for them and to say thank you because it's all free. So I want to do something for them as well. So we're gonna shoot some nice reels and stuff like that. I'm gonna cut it for them, but now we are ready. We don't have to cook for the next three days. That's, this is luxury. Only cardio, workouts, cardio, workouts, filming, cutting, that's it. Pretty simple. All right, now we're gonna head off to go home and uh, take in pre-workout supplements and then we are at the Dragon's Lair. So see you at home. Welcome back. Actually at home. Now this is my intra workout. As you maybe already know. We're gonna put two scoops of amino acids in here, which is essential amino acids. And we put in a lot of salt. That should be a gram or two or something. That's good. And now, that's actually my pre-workout. Two scoops. Mm -hmm. Today we're gonna train with the coach. So of course we gonna do double scoops as every day. Because workouts are important every day. If you're training with your coach or you're training alone or whatever, make sure your workout is perfect. This is two caps of alkagene. It's a mineral complex and we have the thermo speed to fire me up. He will kill me today. We're going to train chest and tricep. And I think right after he's going to check me. He's going to check how I look. Because this now is the fourth. Like we have four 
days of low actually right now I guess tomorrow will be Tuesday maybe I can get another high carb day today or Wednesday but I want to get shredded this is more important than some extra rice or actually extra carbs all right guys post workout 50 grams this is actually the saddest story in my prep this is my post workout 50 grams of pineapple but we have chocolate caramel flavor whey which is pretty nice okay Look at that, what I got. <laughs> He's not too happy about that. <laughs> My first Y3 tea shaker. How Thank you, you coach. Thanks. Team, right? I feel special right now. I feel special. Yeah, I'm very special. Yeah, yeah, very special. Nice. Thank you. Alright guys and girls, we are back at the Dragon Slayer and as you maybe know, we're gonna train chest and tricep with my coach Neil Hill today. I'm pretty excited, I, I'm getting a little tired so I think personally he's gonna kill me today. He's very strong, so enjoy the workout and thank you guys for watching. But remember we're going into the show, actually in three weeks today the show would have already been over. So three weeks yesterday. Uh, the show will be taking place. So these last stages of contest prep isn't really about creating an environment for muscle growth and development. It's more so creating a positive sense of stimulus and keeping that muscle fresh and alive, but at the same time, making sure we're in a positive calorific deficit so we're able to manipulate fat loss and get harder and drier going into the show. Okay, so we're going to be doing more like an upright seated press today as our second exercise. Now obviously exercise selection is really important in order for you to prioritize certain areas of a muscle group. We've obviously just done a seated upright cable fly on the cable kind of cross over there sitting on a bench. Now remember everybody's biomechanics and limb lengths and setups are going to be slightly different from one person to another. So don't just take it for granted that a piece of equipment that you sit into is going to be in line with your body requirements or needs. So when it comes to this machine, I like to sit super low. I use my feet planted tightly into the ground and I can manipulate the height of my torso basically by pushing further up on myself or coming further down. I can also manipulate the area of stress and load within my chest by pushing forward on the actual seat so I'm going into more of a in slight inclined position. But our second exercise is going to be an upright press. Now this is an awesome piece of equipment, it's a great piece of equipment. The setups on some machines you know, are going to be slightly different from one to another and of course some exercise is going to favour certain people. Don't ever pick an exercise because you're strongest at it because in most cases when we're in our strongest, there's a possible uh, possibility that we are going to bring secondary muscle groups into play, like shoulders or triceps. I get a huge amount of stimulus on my chest from this exercise. Whereas maybe if I use a different piece of equipment, or should I say a different brand, 
The setup is going to be slightly different, but this is going to be our second exercise upright Arsenal strength press. Ah. 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 Okay, so we're gonna go on to the third exercise now, which is gonna be an incline seated machine press. I think this is part of the Flex series, which is a, a really great piece of old school equipment. So, a lot of brands today, when they get manufactured, I sometimes think it's just more like a, a sense of trying to do something very different, as opposed to doing something or creating something which has five mechanical reasons to be in line with people's joints, all right? So, this is probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment in the gym, especially within the actual chest piece of equipment. You can manipulate again your position through your feet. So for instance, Mike, when he sat in this now, the seat was very low. So he was gonna adjust the seat. I said, Mike, leave the seat there because you can adjust your body composition through your feet when they place firmly into the floor. So that's one of the great things about actually using your own initiative in a sense, as opposed to setting yourself up with a very set angle, especially if there's two or three people training. You can manipulate your body composition perfectly in line with obviously just using initiative. So this is gonna be our third exercise, incline press machine. said to me hey what do you think about doing one set of warm-up and then really one heavy all-out set I think it's fucking stupid you've done nothing to create an environment to prime yourself physically and mentally before your working set injury prevention is a massive stable a staple part of training it's really important so if we look at some of the greatest all-time athletes Dorian Yates Dorian tri uh, tore his bicep and tricep do I feel that he did that because he wasn't putting the time into warm-ups? No. I feel that possibly happened because of his style of training consistently. There was no indirect deload weeks. Now, nobody has a crystal ball. Nobody can actually say exactly why Dorian tore his tricep or bicep. But I'm sure, looking back, there's a possibility that he may have looked to do some form of manipulation towards his training, which maybe allowed him to further himself in the industry, right? Um, you know, he's one of the greatest all-time Mr. Olympia. He's probably my favorite all-time Mr. Olympia, just because of his mindset and his outlook towards his craft indirectly. So, you know, we'll do a video on what I feel high-intensity training is, or what intense training is as far as the application is concerned at some point over the next number of days with me and Mike. It's a, it's a really, really special situation right now because I can see how my coach wants me to train. Like, as an athlete, you're always thinking about how to train, like, the tempo, the repetitions, the contractions. Like, you think about everything, but right now, he's here and he can actually explain me what he wants me to do so he, he said like hey speed up the reps slow the reps full contraction full motion full range of motion go into the stretch like really really precise it's 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 crazy i've never had my coach 
next to me like that, like so, so close. It gives me a pretty good feeling being in Las Vegas, being around my coach. So no matter what happens, he's around me, he's taking care. That's really pretty nice. I really enjoy it. Yeah. You're outside, you're still, your house is all done now? Yeah. Keep working, come on. Push, rest, pause. Oh. Right, one or two reps, rest, pause. Come on, Mike. You've got to take control, let's go, come on. Drive, come on. Yeah. And again. Come on, up, rest, pause. Last one or two reps, I'm going to help you now, let's go. Strong, strong. Pull, and again. Push. Good set, Mike. Good set. Fixing this mic. Don't put so much bend in your knees. Just a little, just come up a little bit more. Big difference. Your left glute now is starting to fire. Um, relax, relax, relax. Um, sorry, right leg. Yeah, okay, do it again. Re squeeze through now. Squeeze through those glutes, Mike. Come, lean back a little bit, don't forget, like I told you. Don't move fucking forward, please. Relax. Good. Compulsory poses. That looks fucking stupidly good, Mike. It's funny, I was training tricep first exercise and then there was a girl, he was like, hey, you're Mike, right? I was like, hey, yeah, hey, nice to meet you. Oh yeah, I'm living in Sintheim, like Sintheim is 20 minutes next to my city where, where, where I'm born and raised. He's like, hey, what up, you're from the hood? That's cool. This is... The girl straight out my hood, Jana. This is Jana. She came all the way to Vegas to compete at the Olympia. No, just, no easier business-wise, but I'm really happy to have something here out from my hood. Like, since I'm really in my hood. Since I love you. You like the gym? I like it a lot, yeah. I don't give a Uber, and I used to search for it previously, so this was one of my favorite places to go here. Yeah. Lifetime goal. Thank 